How to accelerate pinwheels year one for the strong learner. First, start off with a little phoneme graphing assessment to figure out which letters and sounds your student knows well and where are holes that you probably need to fill. Then don't skip the units that fill those holes. We're talking about knowing letters and the sounds that go with those letters. Hint, year one level two has a good PG review in unit 24. What to hit in level one. Caution word I in unit 12. I personally wouldn't skip it. The second job of the suffix S. It's a grammar thing they need to know. The sound hunt game is great phonemic awareness practice that really builds into strong literacy skills. So you're going to want to do that one a lot. Labeling practice, which is interspersed throughout level one, but introduces the key skill of original writing. So you don't want to miss it. Exclamation point. Unit 14. Four sound word practice as a result of consonant blends. In level one, this occurs in units 14 and 16. Be sure to practice in both reading and spelling. Sound siblings S and Z, unit 15. Do the entire challenge and celebration unit at the end, unit 16, for review. Also, have your student read every reader and do the corresponding copywork pages. One new reader a week is a good goal. Finally, be sure to reinforce any new learning with workbook practice. How to Accelerate Pinwheels Year 1 for the Strong Learner, Part 2. What to hit in Level 2. First, continue to complete whole units for any letter or sound that isn't totally solid. This is particularly true for letter teams. And again, don't skip any readers, do the corresponding copywork pages, and do workbook pages to reinforce any new learning. When accelerating pinwheels, it's really important that you don't skip any of the content for the educator. You need to know why you're teaching what you're teaching in order to teach effectively. Did I say the word teach too many times? Teach, teach, teach. Anyway, in the educator guide, that's basically any of the why you teach sections, plus literally anything that's not inside of a yellow box is professional development for you, the educator. Read it. Don't skip any new game. Pinwheels level two is full of new games that your student hasn't seen from level one. And this is the multi-sensory bit, so don't skip it. Don't skip any new spelling rule. You can check out where these are in the table of contents. They're labeled spelling rule. Don't skip any practice involving syllables and blends. This is more pertinent in Pinwheels Year 2, Levels 3 and 4, but it's definitely in Level 2. And trust us, even for strong kids, this is beneficial. Do, and I mean definitely do, all original writing practice. This is basically any time we guide a student to put their own thoughts on paper. And you'll know where they are because in the table of contents, they're all labeled original writing. Pro tip, Pinwheels Year 2 is where we really dig into original writing practice so it's good to get those levels in your hands sooner rather than later.